going to show you how to style up a sidebar sign up form. I'll just quickly show you how I put that form in there. If I go to the back end of this site in WordPress and appearance widgets, all I did was to paste in a text widget with the code that I got from Aweber. But if you look here, there's quite a lot of space at the top. First thing you need to do is to go into developer tools for Chrome and every browser has their own version of developer tools. There's also the Firebug plugin that you can get for Firefox. But I'm just going to go into developer tools now, click on the magnifying glass there at the bottom, and then if I hover over this, I can select the various elements that I want to change in the CSS. Here, as I was referring to earlier, is a bit of space, and there's no reason for this being there. So if I click on that, it will immediately take me to the area of the HTML that is creating that space. And as you can see, there's a P tag there that, that has absolutely no reason for being there. And I'm going to just remember that this comes after a div class body text, which comes after a div ID AF header something. And what this is, is if I go back into that widget that I showed you, you'll see that this P tag is coming in for some reason from this text widget. So all we do is delete that and save the text widget. Then we go back to the site and refresh, and at least we got rid of that space there. Now next I want to get rid of this grey background. I want it to have a white background because I want this whole area to really stand out and look different. Um, so the first thing I should do is get my magnifying glass again and click on the widget itself and here I can see it's got a unique identifier of text hyphen 4 as the div ID is text hyphen 4. Now I know that any style that I, I add this um, hash text hyphen 4 to will change this widget but won't change any of the others. In order to add CSS to this widget or any CSS at all you go back to the WordPress backend and under appearance you click editor and that will automatically come up with the style sheets for this theme that you're using. Uh, unfortunately it's not a great text editor um, but it's sometimes okay just for doing quick little text uh, little edits in the CSS. I usually add um, my CSS to the beginning of it and is, as you can see here is some that I've already done for another widget that's for text 3. This one, you'll remember, is was called text 4. So if you just do hash text hyphen 4, and then we just want to give it a white background. So I'll just copy that there, paste it in. This is the CSS for giving something a white background, but I'm assuming you know a little bit about CSS. And update file. Now if you go back to the page and refresh, you'll see it has a white background. And I'm also going to get rid of this padding around it as well. Let's do that now. Uh, so again, we'll click on the magnifying glass at the bottom there. Click on the element that we want to change. And you'll see that dot sidebar dot widget wrap has a padding of 30. If you click on that arrow, that will take the, pa the, the padding off all of the widgets. So as you can see, there's no padding and all these widgets look pretty terrible because they're going right up to the edge of the background which is what we're going to want in this case although we don't want to take it off the top obviously so we'll put that back on and um, see if we can affect that in the CSS and let's just get rid of the sidebar padding we might want a little bit on the right actually 10 pixels <laughs> we might want a bit on the bottom as well 30 pixels or maybe 20 but we don't want any on the left let's go zero for that padding of course this goes around like a clock face so it's top right bottom left press update file and there we have it now I want this headline here to be completely different from the other headlines. So go to the magnifying glass, let's select that headline, and we see it's dot widget area H4. So if we want to affect this one here, we need to call it hash text4 dot widget area H4. So let's copy dot widget area 
Instead of going into the back end themes appearance editor, I'm going to show you the CSS in Dreamweaver because it's much easier to see what we're doing. Let's paste that in there and we want to put the hash text for in beforehand. Put our curly brackets in and we want to decide what we want to do with it. First thing is that we don't want that text transform to be um, uppercase. So we want it to be none, just have it normal upper and lower. Um, let's go back to the page to see what we want done with it. We don't want this, um, this funny background image. So we're going to do background none. And also it's got a bit of padding on it to the right hand side. Um, which is to allow space for that image, that 22 pixels padding. So we want to get rid of that. I'll show you what I'm going to do by unchecking these checkboxes. So we're going to get rid of the background image and we're going to get rid of the padding. So we just want it starting here normally. But we don't want to affect the others as well. So we'll put those back and we'll go back into Dreamweaver. And we just want background none get rid of the image and padding zero get rid of that space on the right save that and refresh damn that hasn't worked uh, let's have a look what's happened here and I'll just see what I've made the mistake here um, because the dot widget area is outside the text for ID it comes before it and the declarations in the CSS should be in the correct order so I should have done if I go back to Dreamweaver uh, it should be dot widget area hash text for h4 and that should work so refresh and there we are of course we want it a little bit bigger if we go back to the magnifying glass and click on that, we see that the size is coming in at 14. And we probably want that about 18 or 20, 20 or 21, something like that. Okay, let's put it back to 14 so it doesn't confuse us. And we'll go back to Dreamweaver. And here we can put font size 21. Save that and refresh. Great. We want to add in a picture here. And here is the picture in Photoshop. It's 230 pixels wide. And I just want to pop it in the top of that sign up form. So we'll go to Save and for Web and Devices. And we'll save it as a medium. It's only 5.8K. And save that to the desktop. Rather than uploading it in with a FTP program, we'll just add it to a post in the text editor here of WordPress. We'll add media, upload files, select file, select it, insert into post, and we'll just copy that text. And then no need to save that. And then in the widgets, on our primary sidebar and our top text widget, where we pasted in the code from Aweber, we can just paste in that HTML we've got from our WordPress post where we uploaded and inserted the image. So all, all we've got here is HTML that says put this image here. I'm going to get rid of that class at the end there uh, because that will have a bit of style associated to it um, which might confuse things. So I'm going to save that and refresh and there it is okay now we want to put more text in there so all we have to do is put it in where it says email so we go back into the text widget and look for the email and there it is we'll put some text in there save that and refresh and there you have it now you'll notice that this email field here and the submit button don't look great. One's on top of the other and they're a different height. So we go back into developer tools and have a look at them. Here we say that the email field is an input with its own ID. We can copy that and put some style to it. And the submit button is an input which 
is inside a class called button container. So there is the two CSS identifiers, and I'll show you the CSS that I put in. So if you go into the CSS, here is the C CSS I created for those two elements. Firstly, for the email field, I've given it a wider width, um, a, a different height, which is taller, and float left. And this is the submit button, which I've given a float right to. So if I update that, and refresh there you see the sign up form and with the image and the email field and the submit button and the text is all looking a lot better than it did just a bit more cleaning up which I'll do but I won't put you through that okay I hope you enjoyed that this has been Rob from robcoven.com goodbye <laughs>